Gato. <laughs> Hi, Gato. Welcome to the Kelly Brothers Show, guys. My name is Hannah. My name is Hart. And we are Hannah and Hart. <laughs> hey, guys. Welcome back to my channel. It's Michaela here, and you're watching Simply K TV. As you guys kind of remember this face here, this is Horge. <laughs> what up, what up, what up? And a new face! The little light skinned curly haired girl. Hannah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so this is Hannah. Um and yes, we are currently in Cov because I know someone's gonna ask that stupid question. Like so you don't have me on Snapchat. If you don't, I'll leave it on the screen somewhere here. So you guys can go do that. Um so yeah, we've got Hannah um as an addition to today's video for real talk and we've got a couple questions. Yeah, we do. And she was in the background in the, like the last couple, so why not bring her on screen? So um, finally, so you know, the light skinned girl. Do you expect <clears throat> the guy to pay on the first date? No. Um, I don't think so. I'll go Dutch. Yeah, I'll go harsh. Like I wouldn't expect him to pay for the whole thing. If he does, then that's an added bonus. But I will offer to pay. Yeah, I wouldn't pay for the whole thing though. I'm so sorry. You asked me out. So yeah. if we're going with that, yeah, then I'll go Dutch. <laughs> what would you say? You're yes. a liar. You would say yes. You want him to pay for the first day, innit? <laughs> My theory is, mm -hmm. if he's asked you to come out, he yeah. should pay for the day. True. If I've asked you to take a time out of your day because I've asked you to come meet me and come out for food, then I pay. That's just the way it goes. True. That's the way cookie crumbles. In my opinion, personally, that's just my opinion. So if I ask you out, I pay. But if you ask me out and you arrange it, you pay. Mm. But it's like me asking you to go to the cinema hard, you wouldn't expect me to pay. No, nah, but we're yourself. best friends, man. That's yeah, but the thing is, you're meant to be going on a f date with a friend that could possibly be more. True. So, there's yeah. loads of factors that play into it, but personally... Yeah, I feel like if the person <clears throat> asks you, they should, you know, they're going with the intention to say they're going to pay, but you never, my mum always tells me, don't leave your house with your empty belly, yep. nor with an empty purse. Yep. Make sure you know how you're getting in, how you're getting back, because it's not guaranteed that these people are driving, let alone they can pay for a cab for you to come home. Because you're just dumb if you leave the house with nothing. Like, uh, I'm sorry. Who do you think you are? Like, Princess of fucking, I don't Persia. know, do you, Persia or something like that? With the, like, you're dumb for leaving the house without your purse and anything else. Like, who do you think you are, please? Like, take everything with you. Be independent, innit? it? But, yeah. personally, if I ask you out, I pay. If you ask me out, you pay. But, at the same time, if dynamics change throughout the day, then obviously I'll go Dutch. I'm not, I'm not that shady. I ain't gonna expect him to pay for it. Imagine mama takes me to someone like, I don't know, Mark of your wife. I wouldn't no, 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 that's, 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 that's another thing. That's another, yeah, like, for the first day, I wouldn't go to no expensive, extravagant thing. You need to go somewhere that you can actually talk and chill. Guys, I'm like, like, happy if you take me to McDonald's. Real talk, like, no, no. How no. should I front pay with you? <laughs> that's, how, that's how simple I am. <laughs> no, but on the levels, if the person that's asking you out to go out on a date, turns around and asks you to pay half. I'm sorry, there's no way in hell you can be asking me out on a date and then take me to somewhere like the Shard or something. Don't, don't, don't do that. Don't do that to yourself because I'm gonna, exp I'm gonna think that that's what you're, that's the lifestyle you're trying to live. Mm. So if you're gonna set your bars that high from the jump. Keep it that high. I don't expect you to stagger straight back down to Nando's and McDonald's. It don't work like that. You need to start off that way. And then once in a blue moon, you probably go to the Shard or you go here, you go there. Don't, don't jump straight into the deep end and you can't swim. What's wrong with you? And then you want to turn around and say, oh, um, can you go Dutch? <clears throat> that, that's what I mean. Like, like I wouldn't mind doing it, but don't go to extravagant, um, extravagant places if you can't afford it. Yeah. Mm. That's, that's don't, what don't, set the, don't set the bar high. Because as soon as you set the bar high, yeah, on both parties, they're going to expect you to keep that bar high because that's how you introduce yourself from the get-go. Hi, my name is Bola. We're no, going short. Because I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't, don't, be, don't be going around throwing out your Bola, this, that, the other, but yet you're asking your girl to go Dutch. Oh, no, nah, rah. I'd be happy if you just took me to Mackey's and got a shed of frappe with me. In that case, I'll even go half on that with you. Oh, no, it's get shake. Oh, shit, then. Mario said it's <laughs> Edge, you know, like, it's... What cost to get coffee? That's <coughs> not expensive, you know. <laughs> That's in the by heart, you know. Yeah, but it's so dang. <laughs> expensive, you know. Expensive AF to go to Costa. <coughs> But you know, if you can't afford that, you can go to McDonald's, you can get yourself a cup of tea for 99 pence. It's not where you are, it's who you with. True, true. So don't expect... Bottom line. Right, I'll go line. Dutch. I wouldn't go expect Dutch. you to pay on the first date, but it would be nice if you do. Or if you go to cinemas, you get the tickets, like the guy gets the tickets, and you, you get like get the, the popcorn and, and shit. the drink. Mm -hmm. Like, be thoughtful. Don't expect him from the jump to do that because <sighs> let's be, let's just face it. We're in twenty seventeen. That shit don't happen. Mm. But don't set the bar, <clears throat> don't set the standard high either. 
Yeah. Because you can always work your way up. You can never work your way up. So work yourself down. Yeah, th there's no meant to upgrade. Keep upgrading. Whoever downgrades from an iPhone six <clears throat> to a, a Nokia. Jeez, just like that. Someone smart. Next question. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, do you feel that? Oh, we asked this one already, didn't we? I think we should answer this one. Should my boyfriend have female friends? No. I hear you. Oh, straight up. <laughs> lock down. Hands on lock. Lock like and pull Like I said, I'm praying for you, brother. I'm praying for you. <laughs> come, come. I will lay my hands on you. <laughs> Why can't you have female friends? <laughs> yeah, explain. Why can't your man I'm, have female I'm friends? I'm his female friend, and my female friends can now be his female friends. That's as much as he's allowed. And his mum, sister, aunt, nan. That's How it. many more do you need? You can talk to me about your problem. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're the problem, then you talk to your mom. Oh, shit then. Shit then. Third, third, I'm in like that. Or you get your therapist. Ooh, I'm And that better dead. be a man as well. I am dead. Your therapist must be a man. Your therapist must be a man, not even a woman. Oh, my gosh. No, literally. no I feel like they can have female friends because at the end of the day, I, would, I wouldn't want somebody to come into my life and expect me to drop all the male friends that I have because I've always Preach. grown up around guys. Preach. I've never been one of those people to be around so many girls. Like, even now, like, I can count the amount of girls that, um, that I have as friends on one hand. And then when I look at it, all my, uh, all my guy friends, I can keep on counting. Do you know what I mean? It's just, it's just the kind of relationship that you have with those people. And if you turn around and said, I don't have all the, um, those guy friends, I'm like, well, that's the majority of my friends then. Mm. Exactly. That's why I, like, I agree with you. There. I agree with you. I agree with you because I personally find it easier to be friends with more guys exactly. than girls because sometimes girls are more like sometimes bitchy. You, I'm you so sorry. Girls are bitchy. bitchy. It's not even the fact that they're more bitchy than guys. It's just that naturally girls are bitchy, and when girls and girls become friends, it's rare that girls become friends. It's rare that like I mean, I'm blessed that I have you as friends, but it's just rare a girl and girl that have just met each other for the first time have mm -hmm. become best friends because straight up you guys are hostile with each other. It's just nature. Hence why yeah. it's easy for me to make friends with more guys. At the same time... They're less headache, honestly. Yeah, at the, at really the same are. time, it's like, my theory is, like, bro, you're fitting me into your life now, and I'm fitting you into my life now. Like, I'm adjusting my lifestyle to fit you, because you mean, you're like, you're bumping, like, in my life, it'd be my, mo like, my, mo like, family, then my boyfriend. No, family, friends, and boyfriend. Mm -hmm. That's how it goes. So <clears> now I'm adjusting this boy in my life. So, I'm not expecting him to change his life drastically just because he's met me. There's certain things I'm not going to like and there's certain things he's not going to like on me, but at the same time, he had a life before he met me. Exactly. He's adjusting me into his life, vice versa. Exactly. So, if so he's got compromise. girlfriends... Yeah, it's about compromise. So, if he's got girlfriends, I've just got to just trust and believe that they're friends. As soon as something comes out of that would work. Like, I'm not saying be but blind. Don't be blind. Like, that's just, that's just stupid. That's you saying like yourself a fool. But at the same time, like... Don't expect them to cut off their friends just like that. Cause, I don't, I, how let's many look at guy friends can you actually trust with your life, though? All of them. I don't see we've got different friends. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't make friends with people. I don't. I don't just write the words friends like that. And I learned that the hard way in the sense that I'll be calling people friends, blah blah blah. I would never. I never give people like titles in that sense, like best friend. There's maybe only one guy like, that I trust in my life that I don't trust in my girls. <laughs> what? There's only one guy in my life that I probably don't trust. Oh, we all know who that is. Is it Mr. <sighs> <laughs> but other than that, I trust every other guy in my life. No, it's, it's simple. Like, um, it's easier to get on with guys for me anyway. But it's, a, it's as simple as that. Don't expect them to drop whoever they had in their past because you're now in their present future. It's, it doesn't work like that. As far as he's concerned, he's known them longer than they, he's known you guys. So, mm, what can you really do? You can only watch it. And if you feel like there's a, there's a person that's trying to kind of like cross the line, they've got their big toe over the line, once that big toe reach over, then the whole free, foot's there. Then feel free to put your opinion through. Exactly, then you can find it. But, but don't just expect don't me expect to it. drop Tom, Dick and Harry mine just to drop into my life. It's not so happening. Sorry. I'm sorry. It's not happening. Yeah, how you get him is how you lose him still, I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah, that's how you know who's, who's loyalty. Like you have to know what you've got and, and be confident in what you have because at the end of the day, there's there's enough bitches out there that's going to take your man in a heartbeat. 27. Especially when they go get that surgery. Day. When they get that surgery and the trip is... Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Ah, ah. I'm telling you. Makeup Bitches got your man like that. You know, you, you know how the boys like go oh, like when they go barbers and they call that surgery. Bro, yeah. makeup is surgery for girls. Deception. <laughs> Niggas nah. go into the barbers. No. How do you, explain to me, guys. Yeah, this is a question for you lot. Answer in the comments or holler me in my DMs. How is it you can go into the barbers with no beard? With no beard. 
I come out bed. peps on your face. I come out of a bed. Fresh trim, waves in your hair. I want to like know what it is that you guys are using. <laughs> are you using hair dye? Are you using rulers and protractors and shit to make sure that you can curve? Face How do you not do that? I, I, I'm honestly intrigued. Like, I would even even the other day, once his face got a trim. <sighs> that, that trim was very still. <sighs> How did, did you see it? Mm. <sighs> oh, oh, fam! I was mad to say this to my mom. I was like, Mom, look, just look, just look. I was your, that mad. Your man got a trim, and my man doesn't even have curly hair. Aye! Fam! Like. Without a trim, they look aight. Yeah, you can be like, that's that's my that's still my babes. Mm-hmm. That's what they call when surgery. they get when they get the trim, it's like, ooh, everything too. Cool. My <laughs> man went through surgery. They don't wear the hat anymore. Exactly, the hat disappears. It's like how when we we need our hair done and shit, everything's tied up in a bun and just just <laughs> gone. Damn, it's a hat thing. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, I'm, I'm having best to believe the cat comes out with me too. Sure. Bro, it's it's, it's mad. Like that. It's a bit mad, but yeah. you know. Bottom line. Personally, mm. I say yes, my man can have few more friends, but yeah, know your line. We digress know your so quickly. <laughs> it's actually mad. <laughs> but know your place. So I personally say yeah. yes, he can. Of course, you mm. can have friends. That's never, that's never gonna stop. Mm-hmm. You know, noodle head over there. <laughs> nah, I've, she's like, no, she's your best friend. She's your best friend. Your therapist. She could be your aunt, your, your mom, your, your sister. <laughs> she could be anything you want her to be. <laughs> oh my god. Miss, if she, you know, she come like yeah. split. Make it quick, man. I love a blue pop. Hi, blue pop. What's the next question? Um, Lena, you can have it in the pot. But we don't want to put a ring because she's scary. <laughs> hey! <laughs> what's, what's the question? <laughs> what's the next question? Alright, next on, question. Hold on, let me record it. Hmm. Okay. Next question. My boyfriend doesn't buy me gifts. Should I leave him? No. Ever. He doesn't buy you gifts ever. Not for Christmas, not for your birthday, I not for Valentine's Day. Nothing. Because then I, that's calm. I ain't buying you nothing then. Just not have sex. But he expects something from you. No sex? Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Huh. I'm joking. I'll rewind this bit, yeah? Uh-huh. We're going to replay what she just said. I'm no sex. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. I'm joking. <laughs> Joking. No, real talk, real talk, real talk. Real if talk, he doesn't I'm buy joking. me anything, if he doesn't buy me anything, then I ain't buying him anything. Ever. Ever. Just best believe you better make up in sex. Not even no, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> I mean, that's what I'm thinking, like, how can you not not even a Cadbury's egg? <coughs> I said a Cadbury's F all the Even Lena love. buys me Cadbury's egg. That's I'm sorry, that's not a relationship then if my man's not buying you anything. Even small. I would have like I would have put and, Yeah, I wouldn't put happy. um a relationship on what the person can give you. Yeah. You know, like materialistic wise. But you would be de- nice to know that you're appreciating you're in a many ways you other said. than just Because you buy everybody that you appreciate gifts. But then yeah. you're a dead thing if you don't. Like there's certain holidays that you celebrate together and you, it'll be nice to exchange something to like, you know, this is a token of my appreciation, this is a token of my love. Yes, I say it to you all the time and yes I show you in ways like for example I cook for you and make sure I cater to you. But it'd be nice it'd be nice to be like, you know, put on a little necklace or a little bracelet upon my wrist and say, that Oh, they bought me this. Do you know what I mean? It might not be a lot. I ain't asking for you to give me a Range Rover. I'm just asking for a look of popcorn ring from Argos fam. It's really not that serious. That's a pizza and chocolate. That yes, that's right. My you ideal Valentine, my ideal Valentine in- year. Listen, 2017, big man thing. Bro, you don't even have to take me to a swanky restaurant, hotel, nothing. Mm-hmm. Just simply come my yard with a pizza, bouquet of roses, and a hella chocolate and a bomb ass movie to watch to. Because best believe after that, the sex making is going to be bomb. You know what I mean? I'd rather do that than fucking go to the restaurant and shit like that and bouquet my face up. Nah. Oh, Nigga, no, I ain't about that life. So you basically, you don't really care if he buys you gifts, but it would be nice. Yeah, I don't care. Look at direct over there about to get off your phones. The questions are on our phones, fam. Yeah, but it looks very bad. It looks bad. Mm. I can, you can critique for me in the comment section when I put it up. <laughs> probably would you know? I <laughs> she probably would. <laughs> um. All right. Next question. <laughs> he cheated on me. Should I stay? Are you no? Up? Are you a mug? Straight How long have you been now. together? I don't give a fuck. I don't care. Excuse I don't, my friend. I don't, I don't care if I've been with you 20 years, one year, one month, one week, one I day. I don't care if I've been with you 20 years. You cheated. Bye bye. I'm not a mug. I'm not having my clique, my friends. What kind of cheating? I don't know. Sex or. Flirting. I don't, I don't care. It's, I don't care. Flirting, sexy, kissing, touching, looking. Cheat. 
No, that's how I feel. Flirting is an intention to cheat. Mm. Because you can go from the little googly eyes, the little smirk face, to the hand on the ass and be like, baby, I'm about to You go to the you. aubergine and the peach, like, bro. Flirting can lead to a lot of things. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, say I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Vice versa, no, it's on both parties, girl or boy. If any of you cheat, <laughs> You're gone. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm not having my click, my friends, and everyone around me think, oh, he cheated on her, but she's still talking back. Don't feel sorry she for me. She a mug. Don't nah, I'm not trying to play the petty vote order. I'll feel sorry for me, eh? even though I'm taking him back and I'm having to deal with the bullshit. Nah, you cheated, you're gone. You lost the best. What about when you're married? Divorce! That's even worse! Divorce! 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 Yeah. Someone's dying! Yeah. Someone's going on a body bag, are you done? <laughs> Divorce! Yeah. You mate, you mean tell me we've known each other for so many years to the point where you go on one knee and say, Will you marry me? And I turn around and say, Yes. You want to film obsession with Beyonce? Yes, I've seen it and I would drag a bitch until she dies. Exactly. Sorry. Straight up and then I will kill him too. Somebody's going on a body bag and someone's going in cuffs. One of the other people going on the spam. I don't I'm care. I'm so how, sorry. I don't care how many bags or bills I spent on my wedding. Even if it's the next day you cheat on me, go on, divorce paper. Sorry, really baby. Uh, really best believe you're happening. signing them without a shadow of a doubt. The best thing that ever happened to your life is And I'm taking everything. Everything. Everything.